I'm sure you've heard of cactus, right? So cactus is considered a menace in some areas in Kenya because of the danger it poses to humans and livestock as well. Pastoral communities in Kenya are keen on eradicating it to pave way for grazing fields for their livestock. However, a local manufacturer is making sweet wine from the cactus fruit and providing employment to communities in semi-arid areas. Here's that story. At the University of Nairobi's Food Science and Nutrition Department in Upper Kabete Campus, a team of food scientists is making the most out of the dreaded cactus plant. Dr. George Abong is the chairman of this department and the overall supervisor of this team. We contribute immensely in value addition of food uh, products. Our role is to train and teach on how you can convert them and add value. Dr. Duke Kekonge is one of the students trained and mentored here, and he is now making sweet wine from the cactus plant. My passion for processing started uh, back in 2018 uh, when I started my PhD program. And here I was working on value addition of the underutilized Kenyan govers. And after that, we adopted the same technologies for other fruits, from the mangoes to pineapples to now cactus. Dr. Gekonge gets the cactus fruits from the semi-arid areas of Lake Ipi and Baringo counties through local community members employed to harvest the fruits. Once we have the fruits from the farms, uh, we bring them to the food pilot plant where we pulp them, separate out the seeds as well as the, uh, the covers, and we get our smooth pulp and we preserve it such that it can last us for several months. We do uh, micro-fermentation, and during fermentation, we add our, 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 our pulp, we then add the yeast, we add the sugars uh, to the right levels. The fruits we are using uh, have to match the standard of the grapes, which is used as the key fruit in wine processing. The fermented product is then matured for at least four months in specially formulated containers before it's filtered into fine wine, manually packaged into bottles and pasteurized. Our finished wine, maybe the white from the guava or the red from the cactus, is ready for consumption. With six employees helping with the production, Dr. Gekonge, who doesn't have a physical shop outside the university, has seen his sales double through social media platforms and referrals. We are trying to see whether we can hit the market out there because we have been having a very small local market within the campus and the university. Uh, but the good thing is that we have had high consumer acceptability. Our wines range between 800 to 1,000 shillings, uh, while the non-alcoholic beverages range between 80 to 200 shillings per litre. In case of cactus, which we buy for as low as 3 to 10 shillings per kilo, when processed, it can give you about two liters of wine, and that goes for about 2,000 shillings. Somebody you have cactus in your farm, before you uproot it completely, please contact us on the various ways of using it. Processing and value addition remains the key to our economic development. We need to enhance food processing as a key component going forward. Dr. Gekonga looks forward to expanding his venture and urges youth to grab the opportunity available in manufacturing. Make use of their skills, do something, uh, and especially the value addition component, there's still so much unexploited potential. Edward Choya, Made in Kenya, Citizen TV.